Hey, it's uh, show and tell. Suppose you've made a fantastic discovery and you don't want the world to know about it yet, but you want to communicate it to a few friends before it gets out. So you write them a note about your discovery, but you want to make sure that it doesn't go any further. So you tell them to take the note and just put it into water after they have read it, just like this. And give it a little bit of a stir. And the paper dissolves, leaving absolutely no remnant. Paper is completely gone. Pretty interesting. And uh, of course, therein lies some fascinating chemistry. The paper that dissolves is made of carboxymethyl cellulose. Now, cellulose, of course, is the main structural matter of plants. It doesn't dissolve in water. It is a, a polymer made up of glucose units. But then if you alter the molecule a little bit and you attach what we call carboxymethyl groups to it, it makes it more polar. It makes it more soluble in water. And that's the secret behind this. But uh, of course, it does a lot more than allow paper to dissolve. It makes solutions increase their viscosity. So this solution now is thicker than it was before. And that can be useful in many, many products. For example, you'll find carboxymethyl cellulose in your toothpaste to thicken it. You might find it in a laxative. You'll find it in ice cream. It acts as a stabilizer and also as a texturizer. You find it in all kinds of products, including artificial tears. So obviously it is safe for the human body. Uh, however, there have been some nefarious uses of carboxymethyl cellulose. For example, injecting it into shrimp to increase its volume so that the shrimp looks longer, looks bigger, and therefore there's more money to be made. So that is the story of uh, carboxymethyl cellulose, the paper that dissolves in water. Now, isn't chemistry fascinating? That for today is our show and tell.